Today we're making a sweet potato casserole to end all sweet potato casseroles. I know it doesn't sound like the most interesting thing in the world, but when it's done right, it is the highlight of any fall meal. Layers of delicious sweet potatoes, beautiful little thin apple pieces, a little sprinkling of brown sugar with lots of fall spices, and a drizzle of a bourbon butter. Mmm, does that sound good? It's all topped with pecans and little marshmallows because, hello, autumn. Okay, let's get started. I'm peeling two and a half pounds or so of sweet potatoes, really easy. Vegetable peeler, peel away. Once your potatoes are peeled, it's time to give them a nice thin slice. Thin pieces will boil more quickly. Everything will happen in a snap. You don't wanna wait around all day. You have things to do. And pieces go away and we have our nice thin slices that will move to the side. All right, just a little bit of chopping later. Let's measure this out and see like roughly how much we have. Every sweet potato is different. It's like snowflakes. Okay, about two and a half pounds. Perfect. Now for those apples. Choose any apples you'd like. I happen to love honey crisps, but there are many, many, many varieties that are delicious, except red delicious. Them's apples is nasty, okay? <laughs> We're gonna peel these up and get to slicing. If you wanna know how to get a nice apple slice, this is my opinion. The easy way is to cut off the quarters around the core. This is what's left for nibbling, not the garbage. And then you're just gonna slice the remaining apples and you shouldn't have almost any seeds in there. If you do, you can just notch them out really quickly. Now let's get to slicing. The apples can be nice and thin or a little bit chunky if you want, it's up to you. Notice how I'm using my knuckles to guide the knife and protect my little baby fingers. No one wants to get these cut. Boil those sweet potato slices in water until they're just softened. You don't want them to be totally mushy, just soft. I'm gonna melt a quarter cup or 52 grams of unsalted butter and that was fast. <laughs> okay, so now I'm adding in half a teaspoon of vanilla and I'm gonna eyeball two tablespoons of bourbon. Bourbon is great to use during the holidays because you can drink it neat while you cook and it's delicious. Give it a little mix, setting it aside, and now for that brown sugar mixture. Into a small-ish bowl, I'm adding three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar. You could use light or dark, it's up to you. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of allspice. Allspice is one of my favorite spices. And now let's just mix it up. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna wanna add in one and a half teaspoons of salt too. Salt, sweet, we'll make this nice. Okay, let's mix it up. This is gonna be crumbled in between the layers and it's gonna make everything so much more delicious. If you wanna be kind of Spartan, you can skip this entirely and just have the natural flavor of the sweet potatoes and the apples and maybe you could add the spices in. Some of you are, you know, watching the sugar intake, so the sugar could be skipped you could make a little spice thing to sprinkle in instead. My very last prep step is to chop a cup of pecans and you can see I measure my cups liberally. Use more if you'd like, use less if you'd like, skip them all together if you have a nut allergy. Onto my chopping board and just a rough chop. My nuts are chopped and now I'm gonna set them aside and begin the assembly. Add a layer of those sweet potatoes into a casserole dish. Add a layer of apples. Sprinkle in that spiced sugar mixture and repeat the process. You can add in butter wherever you like and you could also add those pecans in, in the middle too. Once you've gotten to the top, add one final layer of apples, spiced sugar, butter, and then a nice even layer of those mini marshmallows finished off with all those chopped pecans. They're gonna toast in the oven and be amazing. When this was in the oven, I was beside myself. It is such an aromatic dish, and you're just like, oh, it's fall, I'm so happy. Where are those changing leaves? I live in Los Angeles, so that's not gonna happen. I have to go to the East Coast for some actual seasons. All right, let's give this a taste, but first, if you like my videos, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and just take a look at this. Oh my gosh, before I take a bite, it's so amazing. Oof, okay, I'll take a bite now. I won't. I won't draw it out anymore. Oh my gosh, those pecans are everything. I love pecans, they're so toasty. This creamy marshmallow drizzle thing happening on top and all those spices. Oh my gosh, pure heaven. I really hope you get to try this recipe. It is simple, 
just delicious and it's really a nice casserole to bring over to a friend's house. I really hope you get to try this recipe. Thanks so much for watching. If you like my videos, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.